ladies and gentlemen, Christopher Plummer. So gemutschlich to be here. Soulful nights, paradise. Happy birthday to you. Oh. You got me all choked up. <laughs> Is that for me too? Yes. These are ring dings from yes. my trainer out in Connecticut. That's Kelly. the kind of trainer I like. <laughs> Tell her to call me. And what's and this? That's her note. All she right, loves okay. You. I love it's Kelly crazy. too. <laughs> Look, I'm a little crying from that. You got me all choked up. That, you know, is my favorite movie. Is this where I sit? That's you, yeah, thank Mr. You. Thank sir. You. Thank you so much. Mr. Plummer, sir. Look, let me re get, gain my composure. It happened to me twice. We had Jennifer Holiday on singing. I lost her like a baby. She didn't even sing to me. I was just moved. Oh, it's just, <laughs> it's just your birthday. It's that's my birthday. You up, it, no, crack. it's my favorite movie of all time. You know, oh, it, I, I mean, know, I, I, when I was a kid, I used to watch it, and we didn't have VCRs back in the olden days, so it was on TV. And they would cut out a scene, usually the second part of Edelweiss, when you're there. Yeah, you know, when I, it was my song they cut. I course. hated that. <laughs> and we used to call NBC and complain. But now I have it on Laserdisc, thank the Lord. Uh, and I watch it frequently. I mean... You are sweet, I must say. God bless you. Well, it's the truth. It really is. Yeah. Well, Do you ever well, watch it now? No, but... Uh, no, <laughs> never. <laughs> yes, of course I do. I actually I saw it with some kids about three years ago at a... Easter party or something. They show it every Easter or Christmas. I can't remember which holiday it was. And I thought, oh, God, I don't want to see this again. It's just too many memories. And I, there it was. And I thought, what a good film it is. It, oh, man. It, it really got me involved again because it's so well made. It's it such, really is. It's such a delicate subject, so dangerous. It could, could have been so mawkish and horrible. But that fine line was met by the director, Robert Wise, who I admire very much. And it was a good film. I found myself getting quite involved. Not with me, but with the kids, of course. Right. And, and, and the Baroness. Julie. You know, I saw Baroness. it in a movie theater about three years ago in L.A., in West Hollywood. Oh. The Baroness came on. All the people were hissing and booing her. and <laughs> It was like Rocky Horror. It was like the audience was involved. I and know. Well, she was one of the most beautiful women in Hollywood, yes. Eleanor Parker. I mean, yeah. my God, she was gorgeous when she was young. Do you know who we're having on the show? Rolf. Oh. He's coming on the show oh, because... no kidding. He's really? now playing... Captain Von Trapp on tour somewhere. <laughs> and of course, I heard it and said, yes, book him right away. <laughs> and we're going to do a little U.S. 16 going on 17, oh, me and that's... Ralph. Oh, Ralph, I'm poor guy. I, I commiserate with you, but good luck. <laughs> good luck. Because you don't frequently <laughs> sing that song, do you? I... No, I never frequently sing. <laughs> really? Well, my but you won a Tony was... for singing. Yes, I don't know why. Because oh. it's the sort of voice that's like a cro crocodile in heat. <laughs> no, it isn't yeah, now. Yeah. Why would I you I don't say sing that? in the bathroom or anything you like don't. that. I want to wake up with a positive attitude <laughs> in the world. <laughs> I sing everywhere, and I often in the wrong key. Oh, well, I know you're so but, talented. Yeah. I enjoy it, though. Now, my brother Danny went to see the show. I am going next week. Are you coming? I, I you promise Madonna? you. Uh, I don't know. I can ask her if she wants to come. Maybe she will. Uh, she's actually not. I think she's in London now. I think but, so, too. Uh, I, I can't wait to see it. Well, Barrymore, right. the yeah. wife. Yeah, I, I, okay. I hope you come. I love that character. He's such a rebel and such a wonderful. He's got so much humor in it and so much fun. And it's teary. Yeah. It's a little poignant. So do come. And I must tell you, and congratulate you for supporting the theater, as you do. You yes. are extraordinary. Well, I love it. It meant so much to me as a kid. And when I grew up, that's how I knew that I wanted to be an actor. I would go to the Broadway shows when I was young. And, uh, you know, I want to try to tell people that so many of the people they love started in theater. Yes. John Travolta was in Greece. Yes. We're hoping awesome. to get him to come to the Tony Awards and present this year. Yeah. And get everyone to watch on June 1st, because it's really important, well, don't you think? you're great. And you're great. When are you coming back to the theater? Oh, I don't know if you saw me in Greece, Christopher, but I wasn't very good. No, come on. <laughs> but I had a lot of fun, you know? <laughs> it takes discipline, though. I mean, eight shows a week. Are you doing eight with Barrymore? Yeah, if we could do Sound of Music and send Julie a kind of com commiserating note. Don't even tempt me with that, because did you see my face? I kept thinking, I'll call the lawyer and get out of this show. That's what I was thinking. I don't care if I have to be one of the nuns in the abbey going, Reverend Mother, I have sinned, and hold the carburetor, because I'll do that.
this show means nothing to me compared to the sound of music. <laughs> Have you ever had to remember, memorize an entire play? This is you're you're up there alone. Yeah, I did one one show of my own uh, one man show that I put together, and which has a lot of poetry and sort of fun in it as well, lo lots of laughs and good stuff. So I already had a kind of knowledge of what it was like to carry a show all by myself. So this was actually a snap because I adored the play so much. There's yeah. so much, so many laughs in it that when the audience laughs, I take a rest. <laughs> you know what that is. Right. And do it's you, great. Do you remember your first Broadway show? Yes, it was with Miss Eva La Gallienne, who was a very great star in the, in the old days in the theater. It was 1953 or four or something like that. I was about 23. And uh, it closed in one night. One night. One night. Did I, you do I, well? And I, uh, yeah, I did all right. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I did. They, they noticed me for a second, and I went to the Schubert office and picked up my check the next day, along with one. Miss Legallion, who oh. also went to the Schubert office to pick up her check. This great star lady was unbelievable, and I thought that was the end of the career. Mercifully for me, it wasn't. Unfortunately for everyone else. No, don't say that. You're Mr. Two Tony Awards, and you're, you're Captain Von Trapp. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's enough. If you never did anything else in your life besides the sound of music, never mind all of the stage experience and awards you've Darling, you know what you are. You're not a trekkie. You're a trappy. I am. I'm a trappy. <laughs> yes. You know, sometimes I, honest to God, I'm sitting in my house and I look at the curtains and I think, could I make clothes out of that? <laughs> I do, I think it, because I have big drapes now. When I was a kid, we had no curtains, you know. That's why I love that show. I thought, imagine living in a house that had curtains that were big enough to make clothes for all my siblings. And, you know, we had no mom, so I had this fantasy. My dad was not like you. He was very different. But I had a fantasy of him meeting, like, Julie Andrews and her coming over and making the house a happy place, everybody singing. Oh, uh, God. Never happened. So... Is it true you were offered the role of Nikki Onstein in yeah, Funny Girl? Yeah, yeah, at and one you point. Turned it down? Ju Julie Stein on you very well. And yeah, I did because it wasn't a very good role. Had I known it was Barbara Streisand, because we didn't know who, who, really who Barbara Streisand was quite then yet. She was singing in the village in little boats everywhere, little nightclubs, and being wonderful because I saw her. But she wasn't a, a big star. And Julie and they, they all put her on the line. If I'd known, I would have snapped it in a second because the role wasn't very good. Sidney Chaplin played it right. instead. Well, do you know that um, every year on my birthday, all I think that means it's a month and three more days till Barbara's birthday. Yeah. April 24th yeah. is her birthday. I'm a big fan, too. I'm a trappy and I'm and a, a barbara -y. <laughs> My two And things. a Barbie. There it is. It's a delight to meet you, uh, and I can't thank you so much you. for coming. Can I kiss you again? You, for, please do. Do I get it? Yes, you do. <laughs> Mr. Christopher Paul